Hi, we're here at HP Discover. I'm Ronald Stanloon. I'm here with Prashat Adam, yes. your solution engineer for HP. Yes. And I'm here with, well, with DK Sharma, and yes. you're the CEO of Americas for Percipient. And you have uh, tons of experience. Maybe you can explain a little bit about your background by explaining what type of challenges financial institutions have with collecting all the data. Okay, so um, thanks Ronald for your time here today. Uh, I am a, I was a career banker. For 27 years I worked in one of the largest global institutions, Citibank. I was a CIO for uh, Cities International Markets. And uh, the challenge that uh, banks like City have is that data exists in a lot of silos. And now with uh, the explosion of data, it's growing every day. Uh, applications are getting built, there are internal and external sources of data coming together, and the businesses want to make sense of the data. And often they find themselves at difficulties to put it all together, and to bring it together at scale, to bring it together in a way that assures the uh, availability of data, accuracy of data, and access control to the data. So the problem that we are trying to solve, and is a problem that is uh, needing to be solved, is that how do you manage a whole bunch of disparate data at scale in a manner that is secure, in a manner that is uh, giving access to data in a quality manner, and on a timely basis. So that's a, that's a huge problem. But it's a huge opportunity as well. It's easily said than done. So how, what do companies need to do, and especially financial institutions, to solve this? Thankfully, because of the, I guess, uh, first of all, they need to acknowledge the problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they need to put some dedicated focus and resourcing around it and, and, and understand that while the problem is complex, we can start to make improvements today. You know, often the companies tend to sort of get into the mode of, let's boil the ocean and let's kind of like create a multi-year project to fix things. And I don't think that's necessarily the businesses don't have the appetite for it. And things change. Mm -hmm. I mean, today what you have current and the best outcome today may be very different two years online. Technology is changing really fast. So you have to find solutions that will help you solve or get benefits in weeks. Mm -hmm. And frankly, there are capabilities available now that help you get access to certain, one of the things which uh, companies like us are trying to do is to how, how, how can you bring this data without having to fix all the problems in one shot. So you should be able to use data as is, bring it together, make it available in a secure fashion, and make it available for what is important, the digital transformation. So there's a customer experience, there's an uh, idea of uh, developing AI from it, there's a, uh, there's a whole aspect of developing new features that AI can build on. So how do you curate the data? How do you make it available for your anti-money laundering issues? How do you make it available for your customer uh, you know, profiling models and things like that. That's what you should focus on. Not so much on like, you know, how do I completely change the ecosystem to, the go-to is good, but here and now you have a need. So how do you sort of fix that today while focusing on the go-to and bring it all together over a multi-year journey? That's what we Definitely. And how does HPE work together with Percipient? So I can say like, you know, thanks DK for talking about data. Now data is money, data mm -hmm. is gold. Mm -hmm. So one is how do we make this data available the way we can give it to our customers in a secure way. Mm -hmm. So this is what actually the percipient is going to bring it to HP mm -hmm. working along with us. What we do is uh, we have this wonderful solution. How this solution is going to be scaled mm -hmm and how we can really deliver it in an effective way. Effective means cost effective way, in a secure way, and also in a timely way. Mm -hmm. So all those three. How we make it available. So what we do is we work along with the percipient engineering team, making sure that their solution is going to scale, mm -hmm. it's going to be sized, and then also work with the go-to-market strategy. How we can work together to make it available to our customers. Say an example, some of these big banks, they are coming in, they are collecting data in various forms. And how do we normalize it and give it back in a readable way mm -hmm. so that they can really use it, analyze it, and then make something out of it so that they can have better control. So what we have done working with Percipient is we have taken their stack 
and then we validated number one is from a functionality standpoint mm -hmm. number two is take the last drop of uh, the performance tuning what we can bring it like end to end mm -hmm. making sure that we can give it the last one is how can we give it in a cost effective way for the customers so we have done that so I think maybe DK, you can bring it in some of the customer use cases, what we have done. Correct. So uh, I would just add to what he is saying. A, a typical large bank may probably have teams that are internally away, capable of doing what Prasad says, mm -hmm. right? And then, but if you talk about like the tier two, tier three, tier four banks, they don't have the internal resourcing to be able to do what HP can do at scale for our capability. So we believe that working together, we democratize access to data. So that's what our mission is, right? We make access to data available in a way that typically a company with a lot of deep pockets can do, but we just don't have those deep pockets in a bank in Indonesia or Cambodia or Mexico or other side. So we aim to bring all those capabilities at a fraction of the cost that a typically large company would do and yet be able to operate the same level playing field. So that cannot be done without by us in isolation or by HP in isolation. But working together, we do. So give us give us some examples. We are working with a large uh, Japanese bank, mm -hmm. and we have uh, uh, they needed to uh, access data across uh, uh, their uh, HDFS uh, big data sources, their uh, MySQL sources, their Oracle systems, and wanted to create insights into that. And what would have typically taken them nine or ten months mm -hmm. to put it all together, we made it possible in a week. We brought the data together and the team in that large bank was able to get those insights created starting from a week, all on their own. So we took the uh, information sources, uh, used uh, HP's platform to put it all together and make it available to data hungry, data scientists, you know, tabulators and analysts and things like that. And they were off on their own with minimum intervention from us from their own. So, the whole idea is to sort of make them powerful, make them powerful. A dream for many banks, many companies in, in general, I think, to democratize with all the data. That's right. DK, Prasad, thanks a lot for sharing your experience, and thank you for watching here from HPE Discover in Las Vegas. Okay, thank you, Ron. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and get notifications of my new video.